Hello Internet and welcome to this day in history for the 13th of October. Today we go back to 1307. On behalf of King Philip the Fair of France, his seneschals and, well, not police officers, since police of course didn't really exist, but his soldiers throughout the country today in a surprise attack on the most powerful military order of Europe, arrested every single member of the Order of the Knights of Christ the Knights Templars, in fact, that they could lay their hands on. Finally, eventually, of course, over the next seven years of trials, dooming the Knights of the Temple of Solomon to complete destruction. In fact, the only way those who were around survived was to take off their suits of armor, take off their recognizable markings and becoming something else. Of course, Philip's influence stretched throughout Europe and on his strong diplomacy, most other countries in fact continued the feud and the purge that he had propagated and within a decade the Knights Templars was basically destroyed, having gone from the most powerful force of Christian Europe, the most powerful organized force of Christian Europe, not in a kingdom themselves, to nothing. In the process of doing this, Philip had had at least one pope assassinated and had the pope himself move from Rome into France to Avignon for the first time through that propagating 70 years later the Great Western Schism and in fact to a certain degree isolating himself politically in Europe through his strong and constant demands that other monarchs also acted against the Knight Templars whether they decided to or not, basically exhausting any goodwill they might have had upon him because he just kept going. So why would Philip do this? Of course there are many conspiracy theories about the ending of the Knight Templars and it has featured in anything from movies to books to computer games to literally anything. Very few events have held such a hold on the European imagination for the last 700 years as the destruction of the Knight Templars on behalf of Philip the Fair. Well, honestly, in the end it's probably fairly simple. The Knight Templars was an incredibly powerful, autonomous religious order within Philip's borders who he didn't have any say over and who basically did what the hell they wanted to. After the fall of the Holy Land in 1291, finally with the defeat at Acre, the Knight Templars had basically lost their reason for existing and while drifting around trying to figure out what then to do with themselves, they had become very strong, they had become fairly arrogant as well, leaving of course the fact aside that they were immensely rich. In fact, the Order had directly insulted Philip when he asked to join, saying that they would prefer someone who could actually dedicate themselves to their Order rather than spending time with such inefficient and needless points such as governing France. Rather than any supernatural or conspiratorial reason, it was probably down to something as simple as Philip being a politician like most kings would have to be in the 12th and early 14th century and basically decided that yes, I can avenge myself upon this order who has insulted me, I can remove a strong threat to my superiority within my own country's borders and I can gain a lot of cash in the process of doing it and of course that was basically what happened. He also realized that the Knight Templars were more than just France which explains fully why he took such pains to have them suppressed in other countries and well why he took such pains to have his own candidate put on the papal throne so the Pope could disown the Templars and in fact remove them from church protection and in the end everything worked out the way Philip wanted to. The Knight Templars were suppressed, the other orders aligned to it had to either change their name or at least change their allegiance or just ignore the fact that things have happened and even in Scotland where the Knight Templars were rumored to have survived at least in secret the concept of the order was gone. Of course they weren't completely all gone. The order's naval branch basically became 
the Portuguese guild of explorers that Columbus eventually married into and had help with his journeys 180 odd years later, the Teutonic Knights was an offspring of the Knight Templars, etc, etc. But Philip succeeded. The Knight Templars was dead in 1307 and especially dead in 1314 after the execution of its last Grand Master. Of course, very shortly after, both Philip and his chosen Pope managed to die, and of course, yes, Jacques de Molay, the last Grand Master, is supposed to have called them to acquit themselves under the throne of God for their crimes against him within the year when he was burned at the stake. So, there might be some supernatural events about it, but overall, this was basically a king trying to get cash and revenge himself against a unruly, powerful military organization within his own boundaries. So yeah, this day in history for the 13th of October. I hope this has been of interest to you. Until next time, I have been the Sage, and I wish you all a very happy day.